Hi, this is a video response to Edward Tart's latest video, but it seems that there's some kind of bug going on that's not letting me post recent videos as a response. His video was talking about the stranglehold placed upon his mind by the Catholic seminary he attended. And I think that I can somewhat relate to this experience in the fundamentalist Christian homeschooling I received. From kindergarten through fourth grade, I attended an Episcopalian elementary school, and my parents were not Christians at the time. And from about ages five through seven, I became enamored with dinosaurs, and uh, there being no problem accepting scientific discovery at the time, you know, I received a large library of books describing different types of dinosaurs which lived hundreds of millions of years ago. My favorite dinosaur was Deinonychus. It's a larger relative of Velociraptor. Um, when I was nine years old, uh, my parents converted to fundamentalist Christianity and decided to pull me out of the Episcopalian school because they felt that they needed more Christ-centered curriculum and a lot of other people at the Calvary Chapel we attended uh, were doing the same thing with their children at the time. And there were two main choices of homeschool curriculum uh, which they decided to use. Uh, the first was a Becca book and the one that we decided to use were Alpha Omega Life Packs. I'll provide links for both of these in the Gehenna Bar uh, the interesting thing about life packs is that they're they're designed as do-it-yourself workbooks. You know, the the students basically just read read through and try to assimilate as much information as they can. At about three different junctures in the workbook, they perform self tests, and then the book tests are performed by the teacher. So, you know, there's no actual lecturing or anything like that going on. It's the students pretty much educating themselves. Um, but uh, the interesting thing about these uh, workbooks is that they deliberately avoid information uh, in the fields of biology, uh, genetics, and geology and so forth which would conflict with a young earth creationist belief system and you may also notice uh, that in, in the five subjects uh, which are covered by the life packs each year Bible is one of the subjects and again, uh, this is from a young earth creationist fundamentalist point of view. So, what really fucking pisses me off uh, about curriculum like this is that the, the parents who decide to use them are either... Um, ignorant uh, about these subjects and you know they're they're trusting the manufacturer of the curriculum to know what they're doing or they're deliberately avoiding subjects which would cause a tension with their belief system religious belief system Either way, they are setting their children back unnecessarily. You know, that these are things that people who have been instructed with this curriculum are going to have to work out later in their lives. Hopefully, they're being taught to screen information based upon whether it conflicts with the rigid ideology into which they've been indoctrinated. And that is dangerous. I think that another problem 
with the type of learning which is encouraged by this kind of curriculum uh, was also symptomatic of the religious indoctrination in my fundamentalist Christian household in that it encouraged the memorization of lists of facts by rote rather than becoming familiar and understanding concepts and also it, it encouraged the intake of what information uh, is being fed without question rather than there being an attempt to critically evaluate the information which is coming in and it pisses me off that the parents are either knowingly doing this or they're ignorant and that they're trusting the the makers of the curriculum to know better and it's the makers of the curriculum who know the facts and are deliberately leaving them out in order to su support a, a literal interpretation of theological myths. It's fucking awful.